Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Tech Services. I'm Brian and we got another awesome video for you guys. So I bet you're wondering what in the freak is in that big old box there. Well this is our brand new Escalera stair climber. So what's a stair climber you might ask? Well have you ever wondered how to get a copier up a staircase when there's no elevator? Well that's what you use. You use a stair climber. Um, it's a battery operated um, dual chain device, kind of looks like a dolly with uh, chains on it and uh, has like these actuator type paddle type things that help move you up a staircase. So this is pretty much all that you can use to get up um, a staircase when there's no elevator. These things are pretty expensive, I think we paid almost $3,000 for one. And there's even one that's even uh, made specifically for copiers. Um, it's an attachment that goes on here that it allows you to even um, lift a copier a little bit easier than that. We opted for uh, this model because we don't really do too many locations that don't have um, uh, an elevator. So this one should work just fine. It came highly recommended from our delivery guy. Um, he's been using his for years the same way that we bought it. So this thing took forever to ship, but it finally came in. It was on back order. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get it unboxed. It came already set up, so that's cool. So I'm very weak and I'm going to barely get this lifted up. As you can see, uh, I struggled there and almost twisted my ankle trying to get it out. I should have used two people, but I was alone. So let me see if I can find somewhere and slowly get that out and almost twisted an ankle. All right, so let's get this box out of the way. And it's really cool, like I said, I didn't have to do anything to set it up other than putting um, the plate on and connecting the battery. Everything is ready to go, and that's that's so cool. Escalator is a great company. So here's just an overview. There's the top switch there, which allows you to go up and down. There's the plate, battery, and there's the little uh, toe plate that I'm going to be throwing over right over the top. And like I said, there's the switch there, left for down, right for up. The little white box for accessories. The little pin there is to lock the seat belt in place. And there's our dual chain system there. So with two chains, just in case one chain ever broke, you have a second chain, which is really helpful. And then the battery that you'll connect. And then the seat belt, which will strap around any device that you're trying to move. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut off the plate and watch it fall and almost hit my leg. So yeah, don't do that. Hold it from the bottom. Alright, now let's go ahead and just uh, Take a look at the battery here and then we'll remove the accessories box. And that's just the box for charging uh, the battery. Alright, so let's go ahead and put the toe plate on. It slides right over the top and it has grooves on the sides and the top to allow you to put it on. It's really easy, really smooth. I'm just going to lift up the stair climber, make sure everything's good. All right, so now let's take a look at the accessories box and what we got on the inside. Okay, so we got our main charger here, just 12 volt charger. Let's go ahead and flip it around. And we just have some LED lights here showing us just if uh, test mode, charging, and then our connector at the very end. And so this will be the connector to charge the battery with. So you'll just plug it in directly into the other port that I just showed you. And the other two prongs go on the battery. And this is another way to charge uh, directly from the frame. If you'd like to charge uh, on the frame with the battery connected, that's another option. I won't be using that option much, so I'm not going to show that today. But that is a, another way to charge if you want. All right, now I'm just going to show you guys how to charge the battery. And you're supposed to charge it for 10 hours, I believe, uh, brand new. But I'm just going to show you uh, 
what it looks like when it's charging and what the LED lights look like. So we'll just get the tie wraps undone. And just like a car battery, you'll throw positive on positive, negative on negative. So we'll just get the connector in there like so. Really nice connectors, really good snug fit. And these do fit kind of loose. Um, I would like them to be a little tighter, but because the prongs are so small, that's probably why they, they're kind of loose. But the battery charge is fine, so just kind of leave them like that. Okay, now let's plug this into a 12 volt. Okay, now that we have the charger plugged into our 12 volt outlet, you can see the green light there and the charge icon on the bottom right hand side. There's also some other stuff for testing, maintaining, and some other things that I don't really need to show right now. Um, and looks like there's something for save at the bottom. I'm not sure exactly what that is. But uh, you can see that's the interface there when it's plugged in and what it looks like uh, when the battery's charging. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and disconnect this here. And now we're going to go ahead and just make sure the rubber sleeves are all the way pulled down. And then we're going to go ahead and connect the battery. Now there's also another way to charge directly with the battery still attached to those prongs on the left-hand side there. But... Um, that's not something that I would use too often. All right, now that I showed you guys how to charge the battery, everything's connected. I'm just going to show a little bit of operation here. So to the right, you have up. To the left, you have down. Maximum uh, 1,200 pounds. And you can see that's up and down. Just showing you the rotation that it moves. And once again, this is a dual cha uh, chain system. We have our seat belt locked here. So your seat belt will wrap around. I'm actually going to order a second one so I can have a seat belt on the top and the bottom. Okay, so now that everything's good, I'm just going to go ahead and roll the copier up on the stair climber. And you can see how easy it goes on. I'm pretty weak, so this didn't take much effort at all. All right, so now I'm just going to roll the seat belt around. Like I said, I'm ordering a second one for the bottom because uh, you just need uh, two. Um, it's just a lot safer. So we got the first seat belt attached. Just want to show you where it goes here, just like so. And these seat belts are nice and thick. They can definitely hold a copier. And then you just want to tighten it to make sure you got it as tight as possible so there's no play. Alright, that looks pretty good. It's got a nice snug fit. It's pushed all the way to the back. All right, so now uh, because we only have one seat belt, we're going to use two people to push this back. So Santiago is going to go ahead and just lift up just a little bit, just to hold it back in place. And you can see that you can move this copier no problem. And I think these copiers are around 650 pounds, so these are things are pretty heavy. And this stair climber can move this no problem. Remember, we can do almost double. Uh, this would be able to handle almost two copiers at one time, so this is plenty. I'm just actuating um, the switch there, just to give myself a little bit more room to move it. And we actually don't have any stairs we can test this on right now, but um, the next delivery we do, we will. Uh, I'll test it. Maybe I'll film a video on that. So I'm just swinging this thing around here. And just showing you guys how easy it is to move. And with that said, we're going to go ahead and end the video today. So this is uh, the Escalera Stair Cat Stair Climber, 1,200 pounds, dual chain, 
nice battery, nice unit. We really like it. We're going to test it out. So I'm just showing you guys uh, the unboxing and the setup we did and showing you what this thing can do. So let's go ahead and put it back on the ground. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.